Rule number one of the JROTC, never hit a woman. Ew, you're actually in the JROTC? That's so weird. <laughs> Hello, my name is Keith, and I serve in the JROTC. I have FTSD, Future Traumatic Stress Disorder. What? I have FTSD because I'm a future soldier, but I wouldn't expect a civilian to understand that. You ungrateful what? I served three semesters as hall monitor and you can't even say thank you. Thank you for your service, I guess. I'm sick of all these ungrateful students not thanking me for my service. Being in the JROTC is hard on one's mental health. I have to go to school every day knowing I can lose my life in combat. Then why did you join? You think I chose this life? I got drafted, you bitch! <laughs> Hello, my name is Keith and I serve in the JROTC. So I hear Russia wants to invade Ukraine. Russia, you so much as lay a finger on Ukraine, the JROTC is gonna have to step in. That's not a threat, it's a promise. I'm tired of students treating me like some sort of joke. You wear a school uniform, I wear a bulletproof vest. We are not the same. So World War III is starting, huh? Drop me in Ukraine with a 2006 Toyota Prius, a gold scar, and an iPhone 6 with Chief Keef loaded onto it, and I'll have the situation resolved in the next 36 hours. That's not a threat, it's a promise! Hello, my name is Keith, and I serve in the JROTC. Principal Steffens, deploy me to Ukraine, and I will handle the situation. Sorry, Keith. Due to COVID, World War III will be held online. Damn it! Sir, Russia has just invaded Tilted Towers. What the f***? The JROTC needs to step in now! None of this would have happened if the JROTC had access to the nuclear launch codes. But the damn Democrats don't want us to have them. I've served three semesters as hall monitor. You really think a nuclear strike is gonna scare me? Russia doesn't have the balls to strike the JROTC! Earlier today, Keith had a PTSD attack. It was not good. <sighs> Keith, calm down. You're not in the hallways anymore. Where the f*** is your hall pass? Hello, my name is Keith, and I serve in the JROTC. You what? Salute me when I talk to you, boy. Why would I salute a JROTC member? You guys are just bankers with guns. I'll have you know, you're disrespecting a future U.S. Army soldier. I'm tired of students treating us as if we're equal. You go to the prom, I attend the military ball. We are not the same. Jenna, a little birdie told me that you didn't stand for the pledge this morning. Oh no. Do you not respect my sacrifice? Is that what this is? No, no, it's not like that. I respect- <laughs> Hello, my name is Keith and I serve in the JROTC. The JROTC protects the school. The principal even lets me carry a lethal weapon in case of an attack. I thought she told you no more weapons. Well, if she doesn't let me carry it, but there is a Glock in my backpack. Right now, I'm suspended because I committed a war crime. I punched the lunch lady in her f***ing face because that bitch wouldn't give me a military discount. Do you know how many years I've served? Man, the JROTC ain't sh not true. If there's a terrorist attack on the school, then who will protect you? The police. And let's say they get terminated, then who will protect you? The SWAT team. And what if they're terminated? The military. And I am the military! You, turn off that damn game before I snap your c*** out like a f***ing popsicle stick. What are you, too good for Fortnite or something? I can't. It triggers my FTSD. What? Future Traumatic Stress Disorder. But I wouldn't expect a f***ing civilian to understand that. Hello, my name is Keith, and I serve in the JROTC. And also, it's not that hard to salute me, you son of a bitch. Show some damn respect. I mean, who keeps this school safe? Me. Probably the resource officer. You think that flabby piece of shit can keep us safe? He doesn't even know how to do parkour. I'm tired of these students making fun of me just because I cry during the Pledge of Allegiance. Have some damn respect for your veterans. I fought for your free time. One thing I've learned from being a veteran is... You're not a veteran. You're a student. Okay, first of all, I'm not even a student. I'm a cadet. And second of all, yes the f*** I am a veteran. I served three semesters as hall monitor and I almost lost my life. And you still build like Captain America if he never got the super serum. Little birdie told me that you didn't stand for the pledge this morning. Oh no. Do you not respect my sacrifice? Is that what this is? No, no, it's not like that. I respect- <laughs> Hello, my name is Keith, 
and I serve in the JROTC. The JROTC protects your school. The principal even lets me carry a lethal weapon in case I'm an attack. I thought she told you no more weapons. Well, she doesn't let me carry it, but there is a Glock in my backpack. Right now, I'm suspended because I committed a war crime. I punched the lunch lady in her f***ing face because that bitch wouldn't give me a military discount. Do you know how many years I've served? Man, the JROTC ain't sh Not true. If there's a terrorist attack on the school, then who will protect you? The police. And let's say they get terminated, then who will protect you? The SWAT team. And what if they're terminated? The military. Damn it, I am the military! Jenna, a little birdie told me that you didn't stand for the pledge this morning. Oh no. Do you not respect my sacrifice? Is that what this is? No, no, it's not like that. I respect- <laughs> Hello, my name is Keith, and I serve in the JROTC. The JROTC protects the school. The principal even lets me carry a lethal weapon in case I'm an attack. I thought she told you no more weapons. Well, if she doesn't let me carry it, but there is a Glock in my backpack. Right now, I'm suspended because I committed a war crime. I punched the lunch lady in her f***ing face. Rule number one of the JROTC, never hit a woman. Ew, you're actually in the JROTC? That's so weird. Ah! False! This is Keith Smith, a kid in JROTC who takes it way too seriously. He's known to even cry during the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes, I cry tears of joy during the Pledge of Allegiance. It just feels good to see all those students stand for me. Keith strongly believes that students should show members of the JROTC the same respect as they do to those who actually serve in the military. This belief constantly lands him in the principal's office. No, it's bullshit. The JROTC gets no benefits. So why do those students get to do girl push-ups? Keith. Because those students weren't special ed. Why? They can't even do a normal push-up. What's so special about them? This isn't the only time Keith was sent to the principal's office. His lifestyle gets him in trouble almost daily. Keith, they caught you with a sniper at a football game. What? I wasn't going to use it. Unless any of the players kneeled during the national anthem. Keith! Shortly after filming, Keith hid all the school's wheelchairs because he believed disabled students were using them as an excuse not to stand for the pledge. He was quickly expelled. Emily, a little birdie told me you didn't stand for the pledge today. Oh no. Ah! Respect your veterans! This is Keith Smith, a kid in JROTC who takes it way too seriously. You wear a school uniform, I wear a bulletproof vest. We are not the same. Keith takes his role in the JROTC very seriously, going as far as to treat the class president like the real president. Madam President, I cannot let you ride in that parade. Keith, it's just a homecoming parade. Nothing's gonna happen. That's exactly what JFK said to me. Not only does Keith treat the class president like the actual president, but he wants students to treat him like an actual soldier. And the principal does not like that behavior. Keith, the school thinks you should quit the JROTC. Absolutely not. I am not wearing a school uniform like those other civilians. Do I strike you as the type of person who would come to school dressed like an idiot? The question at hand isn't if Keith was dropped on his head as a child, but rather, how many times was he dropped on his head as a child? This week on AGC. Being in the JROTC means going to school every day knowing I could lose my life in combat. Then why'd you join? Do you think I chose this life? I got drafted, you bitch! <laughs> Respect your veterans! Meet Keith, a kid in JROTC who takes himself way too seriously. You think my job is a fucking joke? I have over 170 confirmed write-ups. Think again, buster. Keith is constantly in the principal's office due to complaints about his body odor. Keith, how often are you showering? Your hair is really oily. Every time I make a Democrat cry. Because I only shower in liberal tears. So not that often. No. While Keith's body odor is a known problem, his personality is even more notoriously hated by students. Keith, we don't need you to protect the school. False! If there is a terrorist attack on this school, then who will be called to protect it? The resource officer. And what if he's terminated? Then who will protect it? The police. And what if they are terminated? The military. Damn it, I am the military! This guy gives me a f***ing headache. 